Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your week in tarot. We're going to be looking at your love situation and we'll see what's coming up for you uh, these next couple of days. So this is intended for the Earth Signs, but if you're a cross watcher dealing with an Earth Sign, then absolutely this reading can resonate with you. Uh, don't forget to drop a like if you like this video. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well to get updates for readings for your sign, your element, and some divine masculine um, slash femme readings I'll be putting up. Um, otherwise, let's have a look at what is coming up for Earth Signs. Okay, Earth signs, what do we have here? We've got a lot of reversals coming up around you, so indicating things may not be, everything is sort of a bit confusing and things might not be presenting themselves um, as clearly as you would like them to, okay? I feel like with the Queen of Swords coming up here, something has your curiosity peaking. I'm feeling like there's something that's going on that you're interested in. Now, I feel like it's a piece of gossip or something you might have heard from other people. I don't feel like it's directly something you've heard from your person um, or something concerning you. I feel like there are, like, I, I get a sense that there may be rumors around a relationship uh, or, you know, a lot of this uncertainty. Um, but what I'm getting is like there is something that you have heard or you may have heard that may have heard, um, you will hear or may have heard, um, something that has sort of your curiosity or your interest. So I feel it's important to understand the sources of everything you're hearing because I'm getting like there's conflicting, conflicting thoughts and conflicting views um, around a certain person or around a certain situation. So it's bringing up this this reversals that I'm seeing. I feel like it's connected to a bit of gossip actually around a person, around um, a love situation. Okay, you've got the high priestess here, but she's reversed. So it's like you're not getting an answer from something or this, you know, you're feeling, you're feeling like maybe someone's withholding something from you. And you're hearing from multiple sources or sources of gossip, something about your relationship. Now, you're a little bit unsure whether to believe everything that you're hearing, um, or it may be the universe trying to tell you don't believe everything that you're hearing. It's causing a lot of anxiety, that nine of swords on the end there. Um, Ace of Cups, it's preventing you from emotionally opening up to this person or getting further or deeper into this relationship. It's, it's preventing that from happening in a way. So I feel like this may be around someone new rather than someone that's already been in your life because it makes me feel like you don't know too much about this person and you're sort of going by what people are telling you. Um, I feel like at some point you might want to address them about it. At some point you might be like, you know, what is this that I'm hearing or that I'm seeing on social media? Like, is there any truth to this? There may be a confrontation that comes or needs to, needs to come about, okay? It needs to happen earth signs because there's something that you need to address. Address, sorry, not undress. Um, so, you know, we've, we've got to talk about those things. Two of Swords, but it's reversed. It's like you invested a lot into this connection, even if it is early days. And it's like you don't want to fall back on someone or you don't want to go to another connection or another person entirely because you still feel like you want to get to the bottom of this and you don't want to end something. There is a nine, so some of you are thinking about ending something with a person based on what you're hearing. So 
I feel like there is some damage control and there's some, there's some gossip that's going on around your earth signs. And, you know, we have to be careful about who's saying what because people don't always have the purest intentions. You know, sometimes they're a really good friend, but they're envious of what you have, envious of, you know, who you're with. So, you know, sometimes those those elements get the better part of a person. So you have to remember that someone's motive, someone's intention behind that. Okay, a couple times we see two of swords reverse wheel of fortune. Okay, something about timing, um, a situation not getting better. Okay, so it's like you're getting more and more involved, more deeply involved into things like gossip and slander. You're, you know, it's it's getting too much. It's getting to a point where it needs to be addressed. Five of Swords, I feel like some of you do want to look back, but you're hesitating. Um, I, sorry, you don't want to look back, but you're hesitating. Some of you uh, feel fairly confident that you want to leave this person because you're hearing too much about them. They're a narcissist, they're a player, they cheated, they did this, they did that. Again, I want to say be careful of who you're hearing it from. Um, and I feel like it's too early for you to make a judgment yourself. The blindfold here is making me feel like you're blind to this person's past because you you haven't gotten to know them well enough to see it or you haven't been close enough to them to really see where that is coming from so I feel like I want to say to you it's too early to make a decision and something about not the right time could be like not the right time to address them not the right time to approach the situation there's something here about timing and Wheel of Fortune is like moving moving forward and it's reverse. I feel like you can't move forward. You keep thinking about the same thing and you're obsessing and it's like this, these, this cycle of thoughts, these cyclical thoughts that keep coming back and around and around and oh my God, you know, there's only so much you can handle here. Um, but yeah, some of you are really struggling with that. So we must address it where we need to, Earth Signs. Um, some of you want to walk away entirely, though, and just like wipe your hands clean and just be like, I'm done with this. But I feel on some level there is there is a curiosity or there is communication that will happen even if you do leave this connection or leave this person or just ghost them or disappear on them. I still feel like there is there is something, some sort of communication that's going to come from it. It's like unfinished business in a way. I'll leave it at that though, Earth Signs, and finish the reading up here. Thank you again, Taurus Capi Virgo, for watching. It really does mean a lot. Please don't forget to like um, this video and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, my lovelies, I'm sure I'll catch you soon. Take care, everyone, and bye for now.